Good evening everybody, this is USS Princeton 2004 here. And you probably saw the bag behind the, on the back seat of the R1. That's just a bag of uh, a two, two liter soda and a bag of snacks. When I opened the uh, when I opened the tank to uh, this R1, I thought before I opened it, I thought I needed some gas. But after opening it, I found that the level was almost up to the. Uh, up to the cap so I didn't put anything in and uh, I saw on the forecast the weather for tomorrow is supposed to be raining so I'll probably end up uh, driving the Kia Soul so but after tomorrow and the day after that this coming Thursday and Friday I think it's gonna be uh, sunny and uh, when those two days come, I will be riding my other motorcycle, which is a Honda VT750DC, or the Honda Shadow. It's still a little cold out today, but I have my winter gear on, so I don't really feel it, anything. It's uh It's actually pretty comfortable. And uh So I ordered a couple of parts online, I already talked about some of them on my previous videos, but uh, I have a chance to go shop at the uh, Tower Hobbies online store or online website. And they're having a, a promotion where you can have uh, free shipping for orders that are $99 and up. And uh, this uh, promo is uh, stackable, which means you can add the free shipping to another promo and these promos uh, come in increments of uh, five and ten dollars for example if you uh, buy a hundred dollars worth of uh, items at Tower Hobbies you will get ten dollars off and on top of that you can get free shipping and these offers are only good until uh, this Thursday, February 28th. But if you buy 
$150 worth of uh, items you will get $20 off and you could stack the free shipping and uh, so on and so forth so if you go up to maybe 200 you get maybe $25 off I think but basically the more you buy the more you save and uh, I had at first a $50 um, promo that if I bought $50 worth of uh, items I would get $10 off but $50 doesn't meet the minimum $99 for the free shipping so I am kind of forced to buy uh, more items I mean I don't really have to buy them I, I mean nobody's forcing me to do it but I'm trying to figure out what items I can buy that I will be needing later on so that I could uh, save uh, 20 to 30 dollars 20 dollars for the promo discount plus uh, free shipping so that's a pretty good deal I think I'm just gonna go over here So I've got right now in my wish list, I've got about five or six Tamiya PS uh, polycarbonate paints. And I've got on my wish list a delight blue, gold, light green, uh, fluorescent pink, uh, white and black. And the reason why I'm getting all of those paints is because it's the prices at Tower are the cheapest that I could have found online for the Tamiya PS polycarbonate paints. And also on my wish list I have a couple of uh, Robinson Racing Hardened um, Pinions that are the 5mm shaft and these are Module 1 or Mod 1 Pinions and those are 11.69 I think each it's eleven dollars something just for one pinion and I need a range of different pinions so that I could uh, figure out the the right gearing for my upcoming uh, 10 SCTE 2.0 And uh, I think I'm going to get the pinions uh, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I've also got uh, on my wish list these uh, this set of hobby uh, hobby knife with blades with five different blades and I also have on my wish list I have a bunch of other things on my wish list but these are just the ones that I'm going to purchase 
and I have uh, the 60 watt uh, soldering iron tips or soldering tips for the 60 watt hobby wing um, solder soldering iron And so far I have 149 and 97 cents I think and I am three cents short of getting to the $150 mark which is kind of annoying because I only need three more cents to reach my target goal of $150 so I had to figure out one more thing that I need to add uh, to my cart so that I can get the $20 off discount But yeah, it's only three cents short, which is pretty crazy, I think. But uh, I've got two uh, Proline bodies. Uh, one is the Toyota Tundra and the other is the Ford uh, Raptor SVT I think and uh, before I do the actual uh, purchasing and placing my order I've got to ask uh, a question on one of the forums is more specifically the uh, 10 SCTE 2.0 thread at rctech.net and that website is uh, really popular there's a lot of activity in it and uh, the, the forum attracts a lot of international uh, members as well and the, there are sections in the forum for different parts of the world and I sometimes go to the Manila racers uh, section of the forum that's because I was born in the Philippines and Manila is the capital of the country and I go in there just to check out what is going on uh, within the Philippines and how the RC uh, world is over there Right now on my instrument panel, it's showing 112 degrees Fahrenheit while the motor is running and while I'm cruising along down the road. And that just indicates how cold it is out here. And all that cold wind passing through the radiator and the motor or the engine it just cools everything down which is actually I think better for the motorcycle 
I'd rather have the motor running cool or the engine running cool than, you know, having it overheat. I don't want to take the, that corner uh, too fast, but it's tempting to just, you know, put a knee down and go really fast around it. But I just saw some little uh, gravel rocks on the road, so if your tire catches one of those uh, gravel rocks while you're leaning over to the side, you'll probably end up laying your bike. I'm now passing through a cemetery off to the left. And uh, when I see cemeteries, it just makes me wonder how I'll get buried. Or when I die, what will happen to my body? It's just one of those things that crosses your mind. And uh, When I was much younger, I didn't really think about it. But as you get older, you start to, to think about things that you didn't really uh, uh, take note of. The road is kind of wet here. This is where the uh, fire trucks at the Eno uh, fire station over there. Um, they sometimes come here. And it looks like they let off some of the water out onto the road. I've got a friend who's selling his uh, Yamaha R6 and uh, I have been told by another friend that it, he was selling it for only a thousand five. Um, although the bike has been laid down, I think uh, it runs pretty well. And he's just recently uh, changed the sprocket. But uh, if you're a beginner, you don't really want to get the best bike out there. You just want to get something that you can learn on. And uh, if you're just starting out, you don't want to have a bike that's too powerful. And uh, for me, I actually started in a Ninja EX500, which is a Kawasaki. 
and then I gradually moved up to the uh, Honda CBR F4 and then from there I moved up to a couple of Yamaha R1s There's a deer off to my right, good thing it stayed there. But uh, I can't wait for the next few months. And uh, sometime in May, I'm going to be going on a trip uh, overseas. And I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, I'm where I need to be right now, so... This is USS Princeton 2004 signing out.